Hey guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now, in the last tutorial we just saw some uh, we just we just saw an example of how example of uh, subroutines and all. In today, in this tutorial, uh, I'll be explaining you guys a simple uh, fact that can be done using uh, ar that be done that can be done using arrays and uh, the concept that we are going to learn here uh, will be useful for our uh, subsequent tutorial okay and uh, sorry for the delay uh, if you guys notice this video came a little uh, later when compared to the previous ones the reason because I just updated my uh, operating system now which uh, as of now it's Ubuntu 15.04 uh, they call it vivid vervet I suppose okay and uh, I have to re reshuffle everything and reinstall stuff and all and so on anyway <laughs> coming back Okay, to in this in this program, we'll explain. Uh, I'll explain you guys some uh, functions that are available, some facilities that are available in uh, Fortran regarding multi-dimensional arrays. Okay, and we'll see how uh, how is we'll see how the array indexing happens in Fortran. Now, what I have here is a small program called as mat underscore slice. As the name suggests, it, what it does is that it just slices a certain matrix. A certain matrix uh, of our uh, uh, given in the val given, and then stores only a fraction of a matrix inside another matrix. Now I'll explain. I'll just walk you guys through what happened here. Okay, this is a simple code, so I'll walk you guys through. Uh, the program starts here. I define three. I define a matrix of a real real dimension real number matrix of say type eight, and it's it's a two by two matrix. So I give it I give it a dimension three comma three. Now this three comma three indicates that uh, this matrix will have three rows and three columns. So this is now more, th more than a matrix. This is a two-dimensional array, kind of two-dimensional array. And here, as far as the Python is concerned, array and matrices they are like uh, how do I say? They are more or less similar. They are more or less the same. So you know you can mix and match the terms. But uh, in other programming languages they might be different. So we just have to keep that in mind. Okay, and then I have a, a two-dimensional two matrix or a two-dimensional array named slice. Okay, in this matrix we are going to save all the values. In this matrix we are going to save a fraction or a slice of this matrix here. And what I'm declaring here is that I'm declaring a new matrix, a logical three-dimensional array. I mean, two logical two-dimensional three cross three array called as mask. And then uh, we ignore this for now. And now I'm, and I'm declaring two variables, namely i, I and j equals to three. Now what I can do is that uh, uh, see, uh, instead of just typing mat, you know, uh, instead of typing mat equals one comma one equals one, say four, one comma matrix two comma one something of that sort equals three and so on. This is really uh, sometimes this will be really p messy. And sometimes what you can do is that uh, <coughs> you can just write this in an array and write this in a do loop and stuff and uh, get the get the values and all. But what what I mean, what I recommend is that these ma what I mention is that these methods are you know by saving the values one by one by one is really annoying sometimes. So uh, Matt, see, my Fortran has a simple way to do that. What it does is that you can use this reshape command. To do the uh, to do the sh reshaping. Now what I've done what I've done is here is that uh, see this matrix has three rows and three columns, so there are like nine elements. Okay, nine elements. So what I've done here is that I've written the nine numbers one to nine in a part in a different order, don't worry about the order, and I've written between them between slash symbols and covering them with uh, uh, brackets. Now what does this reshape command does is that it takes a one dimensional array okay and then reshapes it to the kind of uh, size v size of, uh, the matrix wants and then saves it and returns it now in this reshape co reshape pro function what what it does is that it takes this one dimensional array if you guys notice this di one dimensional array has only one row but nine one row but it has nine values okay and what and what this pro, uh, array does is that sh gives the shape of the array. Now, now this is one cross nine. Now, if you put this three comma three, what will happen is that this array uh, will be 
will be will be fragmented into three will be fragmented into three rows each row having three elements each row having three columns and each of them will be separately uh, stacked to mat stacked to mat okay now what i've done here is that uh, i've used now i've declared this mask command mask mask matrix to be true by default everywhere this value is true okay now what i've done here in these lines is that i've de after declaring everything to be true i'm de i'm making the first row all the elements in the i throw to be false and similarly i'm making all the elements in the i j th column to be false i'm making all the elements in the i th i throw to be false and all the elements in the j th row to be false this this way uh, this way what what i'll have is that uh, is that uh, the i throw and j th column uh, all the elements in the i throw and j th column of this matrix ma mask will be false whereas the remaining elements will be true okay now uh, in this th this command what it does is that i um, here i'm using the same same reshape command here but with a small change what i'm using is that i'm using something called as a pack command pack function now what does this pack function does is that is that uh, it takes a given matrix and compares com compares that value the each and every index position to another index po to the corresponding index position of a mask matrix like this okay uh, this mask matrix should be a logical matrix okay now what happens is that if certain i i comma j position of this matrix is equal to this and compared with this part it returns to be true okay so let's say now here what happens is that uh, since i is 3 j is 3 now i i equals 1 and j equals 1 will be true for this mask matrix so when it compares 1 comma 1 of this matrix uh, with this 1 comma 1 of this matrix since this mask matrix has that value to be true this value will remain as it is and kept kept as it is it like similarly next value we'll see whether that is false here if it's not if it's true it will be placed and like that it will just col collect all the mat all the values which are whose index positions are false in this all the values of this matrix whose index positions are false in this matrix and forms the and forms a one dimensional array a one dimensional array and then after the one dimensional array is formed it returns a one dimensional array here is the entire statement and now i am reshaping this one dimensional array into a 2 cross 2 array and uh, saving it to this slice variable and then what i'm doing here is that i'm just printing them value here let me just uh, you know just to give you guys a feel what exactly is going on i'll just compile this build this no it's just simple so i'll just execute this yeah perfect now if you guys notice now the slice of uh, 1 comma 1 is 1 they forget about the slice it's not exactly slice by the way it's actually this matrix matrix this matrix with mat is getting printed here because of this formatting so matrix 1 comma 1 is actually 1 1 comma 2 is 2 1 comma 3 is 3 2 comma 1 is 4 5 6 and 9 like that uh Uh, I'll explain you guys about the indexing mechanism here. It's a little different in Fortran. I'll explain guys in a minute. Okay. Now, you know, instead of this math, instead of this math, what I do is that I just put the slice. Okay. Okay. Now, if I were to compile build and execute this, yeah, perfect. It just removes both of. It just removes them. Now, what I do is that let me just have them both. in place no i'll just write this <coughs> sorry okay now i'll just copy this okay now i'll write this as 2 i'll write this as 2 and then i'll write slice slice and then i'll write this slice here okay Now, if I were to compile build and execute this, yeah, perfect. So, guys, notice uh, because on the top we have i equals three and j equals three. All the elements that are present in the i throw 
I throw a jth column where removed. So th so this matrix is turned out to be a 4 by 4 matrix uh, and uh, against this matrix which is a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, now that's all, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Now in the next tutorial I'll explain you guys the, the you know, I'll run the same program. I'll explain you guys how the, you know, uh, array operation and indexing mechanisms works in Fortran. Because this is very very important when you when you uh, have to work with and work with and deal with higher order matrices, okay. And then in the in the next uh, subsequent tutorial, we'll be looking at uh, we'll be looking at uh, uh, devising a program to calculate the determinant of a pro determinant of a matrix. That will be that will be done using uh, that will be done using a uh, uh, subroutine and subroutine and stuff. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next tutorial.